Oh, I actually do remember this. I remember commentating about uh, being worried about flashing lights. Sorry, I didn't talk there. Uh, sometimes our team has been able to punch people in the face and just from, you know, disable them from the front. But not always. Prepare yourself for the book that will blow up the entire world. <laughs> no, just notice they didn't ever adjust the date it was going to be released. You know, from Redux around, they just use the same poster again. I think I got a good camera point there. I don't know for what. I know I'm disabling everyone, so that will give me a good karma point. Um, I don't think each disable gets you a point. I think it's just um, at the end of each level, if you don't kill anyone, you get it. Looks like there's. Okay, firstly, you are an unobservant fuck. Like seriously. Also, there's a save. open the path, but I'm not going to do so just yet. I want to disable all the other guys first. Well, you know, they see a war is coming. Your mushrooms now. Because I can see it blowing up in my face, but I don't. Oh. I can disable this guy. Someone laughing in the background? Mine sounds seriously low, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm sorry, but of all takedowns, that seriously makes little sense. Just seem like guy was fast asleep, just randomly like sits straight up, just so he can get punched in the face. So who will put flammable like stuff you aren't trying to burn? Ugh. Fire safety, mo uh, motherfuckers! I can disable him, but there's a guy down there. Artyom. Shit! He's dead! He's not dead! I punched him in the fucking face! I'm sorry, Artyom does not have, like, it isn't a thing. Or, you know, any really strong superhero. Like, he can, can't kill people with one punch.
I kind of goofed it up here, but I'm not going to restart because that would be silly. Come on. Took me four presses of the mouse to get this far once. The mouse was actually acting up earlier. It told every left click was a right click, and every right click was a right click. I'm not sure. Do I have to fear the red dots on the snipers on the guns as well, or just the flashlights? I'm not like, sure if the AI is good enough to, you know, but... Alright, like, how much the uh, red dots will come into play is what I'm trying to say. Ooh, key. Half time, I'm not sure if they're actually seeing me or if it's just the AI going wonky again like earlier. Damn it. Yeah, I want to disable them all before I move on. Otherwise, I'll have a hell of a time actually getting out. So they're congregating there, is that's where they are, where I was last seen. Just you wait. Punch him in the fucking head. Possible inv invincibility frames for the win. Under Artium. I wonder and hope they can't wake anyone up. Well, my wondering is, can they? Because that would suck if so much they could. Um, kind of makes sense. I question how long a single punch to the noggin can put someone out for. I assume it depends on how glass jawed this individual is. Seriously, our team, come on, we go through. Okay. I'm nervous of being in this part, just in case our team just randomly gets stuck. I just have to find a way to approach these guys, and they can't really do it from the front. They don't want to just end up in gunfight. And though at the moment I find a guy that I could possibly just flank and punch, he he gets wild hair up his ass and starts running around like a lunatic.
You know, I've never known whether it was H A I R or H A R E. The hair is pronounced, uh, those both words are pronounced hair, but they're very different. One is hair as in the hair on your head, or the former is, or the latter is a type of rabbit. Suppose, depending on the person, it could go either way, couldn't it? Punch! Fists of Steel Artyom! For a moment, um, I remember before I, I went from a um, higher elevation to a lower for a quick uh, for an execution. Um, I was hoping I could go from a lower to a higher, but either I could, but not as great as that, or just or it's just completely you know blocked up. I'm not sure. But just because they got punched once in the noggin does not mean they're dead. Have people really forgotten to check for pulses, or breathing, or any life sign? So, so just, you know, so I can't think of anything else that I haven't already stated. My God. <laughs> that. No wonder Nazis are executed. I know why the Nazis are and uh, executing mutants. Apparently, they're trying to stop the X Men from forming in uh, post apocalyptic Russia. Clearly, there's um, who's the person who can face through walls? Oh, clearly, there's the Russian version of them. Hi. Hi. Peekaboo. You, you can't see me. You better not be dead. You know, the painting on these doors really reminds me of the Metro symbol, which is like intentional, and I kind of like. Remember how at the start of the session it was like Metro last flight on the on the door and it's pointing out how to say redox. Punch, fist of steel. Well done. I don't think you've made contact with his face, but well done. Alright, I'm full on that gubbins. Seriously, I keep thinking I hear one guy somewhere. I think I hear a car alarm going off in the distance. It's barely on the, like, edge of my hearing. So I'm not even sure if the mic will pick it up. Sometimes I hear things the mic doesn't. And so hopefully it isn't bothering me. Of course, if yeah, and also I think I have a a filter on the mic, so it may it gets rid of background noise. I just don't know what it can sit, how it figures out what background noise and what isn't. It's. The car alarm is a little clearer now, but it still sounds kind of close. Kind of, it sounds closer, but it doesn't sound too close. If it gets any louder, I'll close my window. I just like the um, having air and bass good.
this room can get pretty stuffy and whatnot. Wait. Tank, they would have noticed all the gunshots. If you go up in your vehicle, they will notice it. They will notice and comment and raise alarm because none of them have it. It's not a, a vehicle known to them, so they consider it a vehicle belonging to a hostel, which is all perfectly logical. And that was a pretty stupid place to be, but it's fine. I got a checkpoint just a moment back. Even though I try and be, you know, I try and be like, oh, uh, I'll leave the car there for a moment. Try and be logical in my actions. Try and, you know, be all that, uh, be really observant and whatnot. I still fail, so. There's an example of one time to fail. So what? How are we going? Going well. What the fuck is up with you? So got to The boss said if we let just one fish they buy, he's gonna have our ass. Not sure. Not sure if they'll comment on the gate being open, but they will comment on the car. Disable him, and then I'll deal with his comrade. I, um... It's better to do it this way. Just need to get onto behind or beside. Probably behind this guy and punch. There we go. Now I'm not losing them, but I'm pretty full on stuff, especially considering I'm not really using that. I thought for a moment it was a shrine to some, someone. Like seriously, it, it just, it would be a weird place to have a shrine right next to the toilet. But, eh, I wouldn't pass it, but pass some people. As the song goes, people are strange. Also, yeah, you need your car to actually get past there. I'll go back and get it. Let's hope these tunnels are relatively secure. Otherwise, me just punching these guys out is just a delayed death sentence. By secure, just to clarify, I mean that mutant stones just swarm through here every once in a while, but the rest of the time the bandits pretty solidly control it. And when the mutants are swarming through, the bandits just hole up in like the, uh, their main base up here. And you know, keep themselves safe that way. Because you know, everyone out here is you know out in the open and unconscious. They may or may not wake up in time to save themselves. And I know they're bandits, but you know, 